Finally, tonight, if teachers ever needed a national spokesman, we might know just the person. Steve Hartman found him on the road. There we go. Let's go. At a Varnett Charter School in Houston, Eddie Brown is teaching sixth graders about the different forms of energy. Mechanical energy is movement. The kids right. love him in the classroom. Good job today, Geek. But by all accounts, Eddie is even more effective in the teacher's lounge, where he demonstrates the power of laughter. She speaks Spanish, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Eddie is always making fun of his frustrations, always finding humor in the tortures of the job. As soon as they leave, oh. And his audience can clearly relate. What is your point? Oh, you feel that way too? Ha! I thought I was the only one. I'm not crazy. I already knew my immediate circle of teachers went through it. But I didn't know that this transcended districts and states, countries. Eddie discovered that reach quite by accident. About a year ago, he posted a video on his Facebook page, called it, What Public School Teachers Really Say. Professional development, I'm as professionally developed as I'm gonna get. That video went viral, as did the next. See, this is why I tip the bartender so much. She the only one that understands me. And now, 60 videos later, that ordinary science teacher from Houston is an icon among educators, selling out his teacher's only comedy tour across the country. It's like Elvis with a master's degree, performing an entire set about mandatory staff meetings. You gotta do two things to have a short meeting. Shut up. What did you tap into? This is what they wanna say and don't say. First of all, we don't get paid enough. I can't stress that enough. It's not being able to teach how you wanna teach. And in that sense, there's nothing funny about his comedy. Don't do that in my class. There's this underlying theme to each joke, that teachers are fed up with being micromanaged and would like to be trusted again. In fact, at the end of each concert, Eddie is as serious as detention. So don't let them snatch your creativity. We'll be getting tired of it. And that's how this one man came to speak for an occupation. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Houston.